Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about Red Dead Redemption 2 Remastered and how I think this could be Rockstar's next game. Now we know Rockstar's next new game is going to be Grand Theft Auto 6 or whatever they decide to call it. But I think GTA 6 is probably the most likely title for the game. But given recent reports that say the game is probably going to be two to three years out at a minimum, that's a long time to have no new games out and simply rely on Grand Theft Auto Online. At this point in time, Rockstar has basically said, Red Dead Online, things have been nice, but we're not going to really update you anymore. So you're not going to be making a whole lot of money from that. GTA Online is still obviously incredibly successful with the likes of big time updates happening this year and looks like it's going to continue on in the future. But still, you're going to need a new game to come out or at least another title. And that's where I believe Red Dead Redemption 2 could play a big role. So yesterday at Rockstar's parent company, Take-Two Interactive, on their earnings call, they actually announced that Red Dead Redemption 2 has sold over 45 million copies to date. That's an additional 1 million during the last quarter alone. Now that's really impressive. Unfortunately, when you put it next to Grand Theft Auto 5, it doesn't stack up all that much. It has sold over 170 million copies to date, with an additional 5 million sold during the last quarter. Now, you could argue why Grand Theft Auto 5 is selling more, one of the reasons is it's out on multiple different sets of consoles. Xbox One, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S. Whereas Red Dead Redemption 2 is only available on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. And even though you can play the game on a PlayStation 5 and the new Xboxes, there isn't anything enhanced or expanded about it to use Rockstar's terms. And so I think what Rockstar could do is actually create Red Dead Redemption 2 Remastered for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and S. And there's also another big hint that was dropped in Take-Two Interactive's earnings call the other day. They announced that they have eight new iterations of previously released titles in development. Hopefully, Red Dead Redemption 2 could be among these titles. So this is where I'm gonna speculate a little bit. Let's say that Rockstar does end up doing this. Here's what I think it could look like. It's gonna be Red Dead Redemption 2 with a bunch of enhancements, improvements, and expansions for the new generation consoles, PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. Now, that could also be packaged with new story mode enhancements and new story mode content continuing the quest of Arthur or John, or do what Rockstar did when they added the game to the PC, which is adding more side quests and even more types of horses and whatnot. Just new content for us to enjoy, that's something that they could do. Now, I don't think they're gonna dip their toe back into any Red Dead Online stuff, but they could end up releasing what they might consider their grand finale of Red Dead Online stuff if this were to end up happening, just so that multiplayer gets a little bit of respect here. And they could also package this with the likes of, let's say, Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare. You get all of that in the same game for the new generation systems and for PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. That's going to be an amazing deal. Now, this also begs the question, when could something like this come out? And I think for that, we're actually going to need to have a Grand Theft Auto 6 official announcement first. Because honestly, at this point in time, I don't think anything is going to be approved by Rockstar fans if it comes before GTA 6. That's what everyone wants right now. And so I think, unfortunately, it would get a ton of hate if it were to be announced and released anytime soon. So you announce GTA 6. And then as you're building up the hype and marketing and information trailers and screenshot for that title, which is going to take about a year or two to end up happening, you have Red Dead Redemption 2 remastered or remade that ends up coming out. And then that'll tie people over. It'll also give Rockstar more income because you know they're going to charge $60, $70 for whatever the title might end up being. So I could really see them doing something like this. It would be a win-win all the way around. Red Dead Redemption 2, arguably one of the best games of all time, would end up getting some more love, some new content, some new things to do, and it would hold us over in the meantime until GTA 6, while also simultaneously providing Rockstar with money to make something like GTA 6. It's literally a win-win-win scenario all the way around. So I could 100% see this happening, and I really hope it does sometime in the future. Unfortunately, though, Rockstar have a lot of other money-making projects that they have in the wings, 
Like, for example, in that same conference, they announced that the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, the Definitive Edition for mobile devices on iOS and Android is still scheduled for some time in fiscal 2023. So what that basically means is we're looking at a release date anytime between now and early 2023. They also said that GTA Plus had increased growth during the last quarter. And as you guys know, GTA Plus is $6.99 every month. So that means from their previous quarter, more people decided to say, hey, that sounds good. That's kind of what I want. I want GTA Plus. So that's obviously a huge money-making opportunity for Rockstar. But I personally just really hope we get Red Dead Redemption 2 remastered on these new systems. And on top of it, it's also the only recent Rockstar game that hasn't been ported over. I mean, Grand Theft Auto V that came out in 2013 has made its way on the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. So I think they need to show Red Dead Redemption 2 a little bit of love here. They need to make Red Dead Redemption 2 remastered, package it with the original Red Dead Redemption and add Undead Nightmare. That would seriously be an awesome deal that's for sure as things currently stand rockstar is a really good relationship with sony and you guys know that there's going to be a playstation 5 pro and there's going to be a ps5 slim version or whatever's going to be an upgrade to what we have right now just the normal ps5 and i think that would be an easy opportunity for rockstar to bundle something like red dead redemption 2 the remastered version with these new ps5s it's just a thought but you can see how many opportunities there are for Rockstar to do something like this. So could it happen? I definitely think the answer is yes. I mean, four years ago yesterday, Rockstar officially revealed the first world premiere gameplay of Red Dead Redemption 2. I remember that day so vividly. It completely shocked fans and the gaming industry. So it's definitely possible. And I think it would be a huge success and fans all over would really enjoy it. But I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Do you think Take-Two Interactive, the parent company of Rockstar Games, sort of gave us a hint or a clue that Red Dead Redemption 2 might be one of the titles getting a remaster or a remake coming soon? And do you think my theory adds up that it could be the game that releases before GTA 6? And even though it isn't Rockstar's new game, it sort of bridges the gap between all their older ones and then jumping into the future of GTA 6. Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But, of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.